Good evening, you guys. I wish you could see my tripod right now. It is so, like, I feel like it's gonna fall over. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I straighten my curly hair, how I give myself some volume, all the things. All the things that I put in my hair, everything. Um, first things first is I wring out my hair very well. I do not touch my hair. I think I've told you guys this, um, before but I do not touch my hair with a normal towel the perfect hair care towel is the only towel that I use on my hair um, the other kind of towels they just really can damage your hair especially if you have like the loops and all of that in a towel so um, you can use the perfect hair care towel I'll link it below this thing is a lifesaver it's amazing it cuts your dry time down by a ton and not only that it, it helps make your hair silkier and smoother okay so first things first I washed my hair I use shampoo and conditioner I use the surface it's amazing I also do use a surface purple shampoo as well um, next thing I'm going to do is um, use a little bit of this Olaplex number no. six it's a bond smoother like tiny bit that's how much I'm using almost too much I'll make sure to really wrap it up in my hands um, and I just use that on the ends and um, we did get a water softener. So um, I feel like my hair has been a ton smoother since then. Next thing I'm going to use is my surface detangler. Um, this is a basu spray and it's also a leave-in conditioner and um, detangler. So this is really awesome. I really like this stuff. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all. Um, I use it in Nevaeh's hair. So if you have my hands are so slimy right now. I can't even hold this thing. Um, if you have thinner hair that things that like certain leave-in conditioners and stuff make your hair feel really weighted, this stuff would be really awesome. Um, if I can find a link for this, I will. I get this at my um, hair stylist, but it's really helpful with detangling and um, it's like that really nice leave-in conditioner that's not super crazy heavy for your hair okay and it smells delicious delicious okay next things next thing I do is I will let my hair soak in my hair towel for a little bit so basically um, you take the end with the loop it says the perfect hair care towel on it you flip your head And then you place the tassel on the back side of your head, just like that. And you wrap it like you normally would with any other towel. Can't even take myself seriously right now. I'm about to tan myself because I took my tan off, which I use this dripping gold stuff. It's a tan remover. It's amazing. I'll leave the link for this too. Um, so I'm gonna leave my hair in this for a little bit. I'm gonna tan myself. And then I'll come back and show you guys how I blow dry and straighten my hair. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I am freshly tanned and I have my tanning shirt on. So don't mind me. This is my shirt that I use every time I tan. Did I miss a spot? Oh, it looks like I missed a sp spot. Okay, I'm taking off my perfect hair care towel and fixing my tan spot. That I totally missed. Like, look at that. Okay, so... First things first, I blow dry my hair with two different things. So the first thing is I blow dry my bangs with my blow dryer just because I like my bangs a certain way. I'm very, very picky when it comes to my bangs. Um, so I first split off my hair spray with my Perfect Hair Care Heat Styling Spray. I don't have a preference of heat spray but the surface stuff that I did use in my hair already does have heat protect protectant in it, but um, I like to use just like a tiny bit extra. So I part my hair how I normally do. I have a super strong side part. And then I take my bangs, which is this huge chunk right here, um, like this. And I style them up and then I blow dry them I'm gonna have you up a little bit more. I'm gonna, I blow dry them up and away from my face. So they normally sit on this side. However, I blow dry them this way, 
which then gives them more volume. So I take my round brush, which I just got, I don't, I wanna say this is just from Target. I've had it for years. And I like the big round brush. I just feel like it gives me a little bit more volume. And So that is it for my bangs so you can tell you can see that it already has lots of volume um that's how i like them to be swoopy so then i take the rest i basically do the rest of the top part of my hair the same way so i take this top part of my hair take my round brush and then i blow dry it up and away Okay, now that's done. Um, so because of my bangs, I'm just like very particular with my bangs. I like to do those first because I don't want them to dry funky. So I do those first and then I take this, which you guys probably have seen. Um, but this thing is awesome. It really helps defrizz my hair. Normally when I blow dry my hair, my hair is huge, like absolutely huge out of this world ridiculous um but when i started using this i loved the result so much so it's almost like a blowout but um it's it works really well so whenever i do this i always leave my bangs out just because i don't want them to get if i put them in a ponytail they'll get a kink um but um you can just get this off amazon i will link this below if you don't have this this is awesome however I would be really careful because it can get really hot and it can be damaging to your hair. So I only straighten my hair like one to two times a month. And so I only use this one or two times a month. If you have hair that is easily damaged, I'd be really careful with this. Um, it can get super hot, so be careful. Also, if you're wearing a necklace, this is just a warning. <laughs> if you're wearing a necklace, it like gets really hot too. So take off a necklace because it'll burn you. Um, okay, I use this on high. I like to note too with this thing, I also do the same thing as I do with my round brush is I get really close to my roots, go up and away. That's what I do. Okay, you guys, um, my hair is blow dried. 
This is exactly how it looks. Lots of frizz. I have lots of hair as you can see. So my straightener that I use, it's called U Smooth. Um, my hairstylist, um, oh, I've had it for a while now. My hairstylist, three or four years ago now, I want to say, got it for me. And um, I like it. I like it because I have very thick hair and it's wider. Um, most straighteners are smaller than this. This is my hair after that blow dry and brush thing. My hair on the bottom never looks like this. This is very, or never looked like this just with a, um, a blow dryer. So, uh, very, it's not very frizzy down there. I just have to kind of run my straightener through it. But, um, as I was going to say, I can't really do curls with this straightener. I'm not necessarily great at doing curls with a straightener anyways. I mostly just use my curling wand and do that. So if you're looking for a straightener that you can do curls with too, this probably won't be the best thing for you. But other than that, it's awesome if you have thick hair. Okay, so I'm basically just going to straighten all the way through my hair. This will be super boring, so I will just fast forward. <laughs> Also, when I straighten my bangs, I straighten them straight out. Here are your recently added songs on Amazon Music. Okay, so my hair is totally straightened. Um, I have been taking vitamins for my hair growth too. It's grown a lot. I will share those below. But um, after I'm done normally with straightening my hair, I will put this, my Basu oil. This is basically kind of like what I had uh, leave-in conditioner except this is like a shine spray this stuff is amazing you can get this from a salon or whatever it's a hydrating oil um you can put it in your hair wet or dry i do it at the end of when i'm done straightening my hair just to tame some of those like hairs that will fling up or get especially with the static this time of the year too it can get so bad so i just put a little bit in my hands and then i rub them together and then i do it all the way through my hair and then I kind of just look over to make sure I got it all, all my, all my hair, and I did. And yeah, that is basically how I do my whole straightening routine. I will leave all the links below if you guys are interested, and I hope you guys enjoyed.